Hello, my name is Mr. Batman, sometimes known as Jim Barber. Or is that the other way around? I get confused. Anyway, I'm here today to talk to you about critical thinking skills that disarm evolutionists. This is a teaching uh, brought to us today by creationtraining.org, a gentleman by the name of Mike Riddle. I recommend their website and their materials highly. Great information, and a lot of it is free. I love free, and I love information. So here we go. Let's take a look. Evolution. Let's, let's take a look at what biology textbooks say. Today, nearly all biologists acknowledge that evolution is a fact. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. National Academy of Sciences. Is evolution a theory or a fact? It is both. Hmm. Why do we have the picture down here in the bottom? Oh, that's Goliath. We are challenging Goliath. Wow. Common evolutionist tactics. Bluffing. We all know, and over millions of years... That's just bluffing. They don't know anything of the sort. And has millions of years ever been observed? But we'll get to that. Grades. Only uh, evolution answers al uh, allowed. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'll get it. Only evolution answers allowed. Opposition disallowed. That is, you can only use our way of thinking in order to answer the questions. If you have to go outside of our way of thinking outside of the box, well, then you're automatically wrong. Hmm. I don't think that's how science works. Intimidation techniques. Discredit the Bible and creation. Well, they'll say all kinds of things. Well, we know that the earth is more than 6,000 years old, things of that nature. We know that the Bible was written by ancient goat herders. You know, they'll say all kinds of things to discredit the source of the information. They'll discredit anyone who does not believe in evolution. They'll say, well, you, you've got to believe in this. It's, it's true. And, and you, 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 you must be crazy if you don't believe in it. Mm. They establish the illusion of authority rather than, than the facts. They want an illusion, a, a feeling of authority rather than the true facts of the truth. Now, here's some critical thinking method. Typical method is focus on the evidence. But the critical, the critical thinking method is going to be focus on analyzing the statement, the words used. I like to call this the necessary preconditions, the fundamental. The Bible talks about what did you build your house on? Did you build it on the foundation of the rock of the word of God? Or did you build it on the sinking sand, the words of man? Make the non-believer account for his or her statements. If they say something, ask them questions like, what do you mean by? How do you know it's true? These are some very critical thinking questions that you must ask them. How do you know it's true? Has it ever been observed? Have we ever observed, you know, a, a fish uh, going into, evolving into a monkey or a monkey into a man? Have we ever observed that? And are you making any assumptions? Again, this is the necessary preconditions. Are you assuming anything to be true without justifying those things to be true? Again, how do you know anything to be true? Evolution is not based on anything to be true, but on what that works. Pragmatism, that doesn't work at all. Here's how we apply these three uh, critical thinking questions. Life originated in a pool of chemicals about 3.7 billion years ago. Scientists do know that about 200 to 300 million years after Earth cooled enough to carry liquid water, cells similar to modern bacteria were common. Biology, Miller and Levine, uh, 2002, page 425. Well, how do we deal with this? First thing we got to do is how do you know it's true? Have we ever observed these things? Are you making any assumptions? Well, wait a minute. All these, are, they can't answer any of these questions. A power question. Show me any observational evidence for evolution that does not require me to use faith. Now, I, this is where I'm going to deviate from the material just a little bit. They use faith. I'm going to use blind faith because faith is, from a Christian standpoint, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. That's Hebrews. But again, they don't have that kind of certainty or surety. They just blindly believe it because they choose to believe it. It must be observational, and I don't have to use their blind faith. That's the power question. Remember, show me any observational evidence for evolution that does not require me to use your blind faith. Well, boys and girls, that's our little snippet for today. I hope you've enjoyed, 
If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a line at 502-354-8699. That's the phone number or Jim at MrBatman.com. Thanks again. Have a blessed day. Repent or perish.